Let's see how this flame gun works. Oh my god, I'm gonna burn down the whole building! We're all gonna die! Just the other day, I bought this moon fish in the market I went in Kuala Lumpur. I have always wanted to eat this fish, but never had the chance up until today. Look, it's got the longest belly fin ever. Back home in Japan, I had never seen this fish anywhere. And finally, I get to eat it today. Um. Long story short, I forgot to turn on my camera while I was cutting the head off, but don't worry, you didn't miss anything. All I did was just chop off the head and clean the guts. And as you can tell, this fish is paper thin. So, it was extremely hard to make fillet. Not because my Spulolingit IKEA knife was blunt, but because I have poor knife skills. By the way, I saw no scales on this fish, so I decided to use a gas torch, the flame gun, to just grill the fish skin to make aburi sushi. And aburi literally means grill for just seconds. And there are a couple of reasons why you should make aburi sushi. Number one, because the skin tastes good. Number two, you don't want to waste no food by peeling the skin off. And number three, I'm lazy to skin the fish. And did you see a huge bone underneath that rib cage? Um, not many fish have this type of bone. It's interesting, eh? Oh, look at that. I think I did a very good job. What do you think? Mmm. And then you slice off the rib bones just like that. And you cut the fish into two pieces, like actually you cut it in half. Just like that. And look how shiny it is. Mmm. And place them nicely, skin side up on a stainless tray. And it's time to burn down my condo building. The moment of truth. Here we go. Oh my god! I mean. Literally, I was gonna burn down my place because I had no control over the fire. I didn't even know if this torch is functioning correctly. <laughs> I bought this gas cassette torch, I mean the, the, the fire gun and Mr. DIY for Super it and it was the cheapest one I could find but Unfortunately, there was no instruction written on the package, so so I had to figure it out myself. And <laughs> I mean, with this gadget, it's almost impossible to stabilize the fire because as soon as you know I tilt the gas cassette with an angle, the fire becomes unstable. <laughs> I mean, I have no idea how to make this torch function properly. So anyway, you <laughs> uh, sort of like grill the skin and after that you cut the fish into pieces like that and serve it onto a plate. Look at that. 
Saya makan dulu Itadakimasu And let's see Hmm Honestly, it wasn't as good as I thought it would be um, Maybe because this particular fish wasn't fresh enough for sushi um, But it tasted something like Jack mackerel sashimi In many ways, it got, it's, it, it's got less fat It's got the, the texture like jack mackerel and all in all I loved it two thumbs up eh now it's your turn to try this at home bye